Hey everyone welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing great. This is the kind of video I always wanted to make and share with you all. Whatever I will teach you in this video you can use it in your films or video games. I will be using 3 examples in this series to understand each topic clearly. First I will tell how to use colors and little bit of lighting techniques for cinematic look. In second video I will use this scene only for cinematic lighting techniques that boost up your lighting in 6 steps. In the third example we will be putting everything we have learned about color theory and lighting techniques in one video, and transform it from this to this. I hope you will enjoy this series. So the topic is how to use colors and lighting for storytelling, and give the cinematic look to environment scene or video games. This will be a multiple part series, so don't miss a single one as these will be interconnected with each other, and I may combine all of these into one video sometime in future. If you haven't subscribed to the channel you can do it now so that you don't miss a single update. Let's talk about the most important thing first. The colors. There are very few colors that been used in cinematic films, and that makes the scene eye-catching and easy to tell any story. Either by using colors through lights, or atmosphere or even with other objects for example. Warm color gives you a sense of safety, while cool color makes you feel danger or fear. Using these universal colors we can establish the feel for the scenes from the beginning for the audience. When the warm color come on the screen without we even realize we started feeling safe, and when the blue or any cool color come on the screen we feel danger. And this can be other way around it all depend on you how you want to use these two opposite colors or any other color. Let's take an example from our favorite movie whenever the warm color comes on the screen in this film, there is always a sense of safety or calmness on the screen. And whenever the color blue comes on the screen we suddenly know things are not gonna be good. It shouldn't be only these two colors there can be another color as well. Take a look at this example it represents a dangerous dark green water. Same example goes for the other movies like The Mummy. The movie already established from the beginning that the warm color means safety and life, and the cool color means danger and death. Let's take a look at this scene. Before waking up the Scorpion King the temple was dead associated with cool color, and when he woke him up the whole temple transforming into warm color repressing life. When we get to see outside shot, that is already living breathing they cleverly use the dark cold shadow to convey the sense of danger, and we all know what happened after that. Let's take a look on different example where the colors been used oppositely. In the Contagion movie they already established that warm sick yellow color is associated with dangerous virus, and blue color is associated with virus free environment. So whenever warm color scene comes we know it's not a safe area, and whenever it's a safe area the color changes to blue. Once you establish this in your scene, you can let the audience know when it is safe or not. But whatever you want to convey. I hope you get the idea how you can use colors in your next scene. Now let's take a look at my example how I manage the colors in my scene. In this recent scene that I made if you haven't go check it out after this video. So in this scene I chose the colors through lighting and atmosphere, and I also made sure the lights are also make sense they shouldn't be out of place anyway, we will discuss the lighting later. So I chose this warm color to convey the sense of safety, hope and life and the cool greenish color I use for danger and mystery. Since I am using colors through light and atmosphere. That's why I said I had to chose the light placement carefully. Like I used the warm light over the car to convey this is the only hope and a safe checkpoint in this fast dangerous force. And I also add the same color light near the hero tree, to give it life and other trees with less leaves have no light. Just remember one thing you also need to know the lighting techniques like how when, and where to place the light which I will discuss in the next part of this series. When you combine all this you get these beautiful cinematic results. But briefly let's finish the lighting part for this example scene. I kept most of the other trees in the darker side just to give the depth in the scene, and you can also notice that I added the different motivated lights on top of the tree, and on the barn roof that light is coming from the sky. If I just remove these two, you can see the actual light is not capable to cast the desired light onto our assets. So that we have to use these extra light to fill those gaps. Now let's imagine, if I want the whole scene to look spooky, all I need is just remove the warm light. And here we go we have that kind of feeling. There's going to be dedicated videos on cinematic lighting with different environments and examples. That's it for today's video I hope you had fun and learned from it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel do it now and never miss an update. I'll see you all in my next video.